Hey guys, what is going on? It's Old School Modder here, and today in this video, we are going to be customizing our user interface on the PS4 version 5.05. This does work on any firmware version that you are on, but I am on 5.05 and doing it on 5.05. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You will need a few programs to do this. You will need Python for the PS4 exploit host, you will need FileZilla, and you will also need uh, DB Editor for SQL and so go ahead and download these three programs from the description I'll have all three links there so once you've got them all downloaded and installed we can get started this is originally a tutorial by extreme modding um, he is the one who made the tutorial on how to edit this a little bit and uh, helped out so pretty much he just says uh, it's limited but we can edit some things on the user interface such as if you want to change the data path of a pre-installed app by uploading a folder for example um, and kusa222 so you make your own folder named kusa with five numbers at the end and you upload it to this uh, system path right here and you can put your custom icons in it and then you can edit the actual path where it reads um, to wherever you need it to it says and edit the uh, system X app path uh, with the path so if you want to remove icons of installed apps you have to edit visible with zero to show an app for example in TV and video you can edit the category with GDE so I'm going to show you guys how to edit the category and how to rename some things in the user interface and I'll make another video tutorial on how to do a little bit more detailed stuff whenever I figure it all out so let's get started first things first go ahead and go to your PS4 and as you can see it says firmware 5.05 this is um it says that and this also says webkit loader I made Orbis man just say Orbis man not Orbis man beta and I also made um, the YouTube app just say YT and I'm going to show you how to move um, some of these apps to the uh, TV and entertainment category. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and go to settings and go to your user guide and load up your FTP. Make sure no other exploit has been loaded up yet just because we don't want to uh, have anything get in the way or mess up um, while we're doing this. So once you load the FTP um, it should say done after it loads up and in the files on your PC you can type in your computer's IP or your PS4's IP sorry and the port and then once you do that you're gonna get the file directory and you're gonna wanna go to system data go to system data go to prive and go to uh, MMS and then you're gonna see app.db go ahead and copy app.db to your desktop and once you've done so minimize filezilla open up the database browser and go ahead and drag and drop the file in just to show you guys how to do that I will go ahead and reopen it database editor okay and once it's open drag and drop app once you drag and drop the app there's only two places you're gonna be editing files go to browser data and at the table you're gonna to wanna to edit app browse um, for 24 and 25 so I'm not exactly sure if you need to do both but I think you do uh, like I said, I'm not exactly sure, so just to be safe, I do anyways. Um, so yeah. So to get this started, uh, okay. To yeah, to get this started, um, this is how it's gonna be. We can edit title ID and title name and path, and we can also edit visibility. Um, and category so right now let's find a game say uh, um, okay so look we got Skyrim right here right okay so Skyrim is set to visible one and is also set to GD so it's set to one and GD now let's look at say Netflix. Netflix is set to 1 and also GD. So if we want to change this, we can type in 
G D E and hit apply and look for visible right here change that value to zero and click apply so we just changed Netflix and I'm also going to change the Netflix name so just go ahead and Netflix okay now go over to 25 and we are going to do the same thing so go down to uh, Netflix wherever it's hiding at okay there it is so we're going to change that to Netflix Make sure you click apply because if you don't, it's not going to work. Then go down to visible, set it to zero, click apply. Then you're going to want to go down to category. Then you're going to type GDE and click apply. All right? And so if you want to know how I did the um, firmware 5.05, I just simply went to where it says what's new and typed in firmware 5.05 and clicked apply. Went to 24. Clicked, uh, typed in firmware 5.05, clicked apply, and that was it. And then after you do that, do control S or click on write changes and close out of that. Your app is now edited and we can re-upload it. So go ahead and go to your desktop, find your app, drag and drop it back over, click overwrite. It'll successfully overwrite it. And these are old, so ignore those. Okay, so now we can go back to our PS4. Now what you have to do is go ahead and hold down the power button and click restart so that all the changes apply and nothing else happens I'll um, connect back whenever it's back up in the meantime um, we can I will uh, tell you guys what I'm gonna be doing next next I will be changing the data paths and editing the icons and showing you guys how to do that so that you guys can do that as well and um, maybe a couple other things just depends on how far I go with this and how much I figure out and can work around with um, it's really not that hard uh, if you guys find anything or make anything you can always leave a link in the comment I will um, be glad to have that and share it and uh, help other people find out about it so my PS4 is just about back on um, it'll be back on any second now so we did the the uh, firmware version for our PS4 and we did a couple of names and the name for Netflix okay and so it's back on now turn my remote on connect share play alright so now that the PS4 is back on um, let's check that what we did worked so I changed in games and entertainment uh, Netflix to Netflix So as you can see that um, this is the uh, correct thing. It says firmware 5.05 still, and you know that's the same. Okay, so Netflix isn't visible. Um, I believe what we have to do is set it back to one so that it will be visible. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick, and I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, guys. So now that I am back and I've done all that, I just need to reboot my um, PS4 well not even reboot just uh, log out and log back in okay so now that we're back at my screen we have um YouTube and so I got the icons to work I figured out the icons in the meantime while I was doing some stuff so I figured out the icon um, situation thing clearly I didn't figure it out just right because this is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai HD3 and not uh, the web browser or webkit loader in this case so that was one thing I made wrong um, as far as the 
uh, Netflix goes. I think I did figure out the Netflix. Um, you have one more option to edit where you change it to game. So uh, I'll make another video on clarifying everything. This was just like a simple example tutorial on how to like do basic editing. Uh, when I get more better at it, I'll uh, make another video on how to you know do it in a better way. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you need any help, leave a comment, and I'll leave the post to the original thread in the description, and don't forget to subscribe and like if this helped out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.